Hi Forex traders, you're welcome back. This is Carrie's Trading Institute and you're welcome to this episode of the LearnFX in 30 days series. And in today's episode, we are going to be looking at common mistakes made by Forex traders that constantly gets them into trouble or constantly keeps them in a negative equity curve for a long period of time and they never get to enjoy the good aspects of trading. They never get to become profitable. They never get to see the bright part of trading so i don't want you to make these mistakes and this is why i want to share with you the common mistakes most forex traders make before they give up if you are a new viewer on this channel i would like you to quickly click the subscription button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you stay updated every time i post a video so guys let's get started what is the first common mistake a lot of traders make before they finally give up on trading because most people who actually make these mistakes only a few of them are able to come out of it and are able to pursue trading and see the bright light in trading so what are these common errors made by beginner traders number one is trading without a trading plan it's called no trading plan mistake number one is when you start trading without a trading plan that means you are preparing to fail because failing to prepare literally means you have prepared to fail okay so opening up a trade without a concrete plan is like asking the market how to take your money if the market moves against you when will you cut your losses that means you don't know how to enter you don't know when to enter you don't know why to enter you don't know when to take profit and you don't know when to cut losses this is very dangerous and the very reason why a lot of traders stay in a negative equity curve for a long period of time and even end up giving up on trading because they constantly keep doing the same thing over and over again which is trading without a trading plan guys let me say this to you it is totally insane to do the same things over and over again and expect a different result so i want you to change your approach to trading remember what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to pick you by the hand as a beginner trader and i want to literally show you how to trade professionally how like the banks do and how are these guys able to succeed in trading it is because they always have a plan they know when to enter why to enter how to enter when to exit at a small loss when they are wrong and exit at a huge profit when they are right is called a trading plan if the market moves in your favor when will you take profit if you haven't determined these levels in advance or prior to taking the trade why will you suddenly come up with them when you are caught up in the emotions of a life position remember trading is highly psychological and as well emotional once you execute a trade your emotions are active your psychology is, is is already perturbed once you are in a trade so you must resist the urge to trade spontaneously based on your instincts alone without a clearly defined risk management plan guys take these things i'm teaching you very powerful number two the second mistake a lot of people make in trading is emotion based trading or popularly called revenge trading Emotion trading or emotional trading often leads to irrational and unsuccessful trading. Unsuccessful trading decisions. Traders frequently open additional positions after losing trades to compensate for their previous loss. This is very terrible. You are already in a losing trade and you see traders adding up more positions simply because they think or they feel or they assume that the market is going to go in their favor so they want to add more positions so that they can mitigate their previous losses and neutralize the trade at a zero loss this is very dangerous guys emotion based trading that is what is called once you notice your emotions are involved your, your emotions are doubled with it is safe to cancel the trade and stay on the sidelines you don't have to be on every trade once your emotions are disturbed once your emotions are just close your phone close your laptop close the trade if possible and be comfortable with taking a small loss and go your way come back the next day or the next week and continue the market is there every single day and every single week okay so avoid trading based on emotions based on what you feel 
Avoid trading based on what you feel. Trade what you see, not what you feel. The third mistake a lot of traders make is inconsistent trading size. In other words, they don't have a consistent risk management plan. That's what this literally means. That means you don't have a consistent lot size. You are just trading today, you are on 10 lots, tomorrow you are on 5 lots. Before you know it, you will go 50% drawdown of the account or even 100% drawdown and your account is gone. And this is terrible. The more, the more losing trades you have, the more tendencies that your emotions are going to be disturbed. So this is why you must try as much as possible to curtail losses as early as possible. Trading size is crucial to every trading strategy. Many traders trade on suitable sizes in relation to their account size. For example, you are trading a $100 account and you are opening one lot size, one lot size that every peep is $10. You can imagine what that is. Every pip is ten dollars. You are opening one lot size on a hundred dollar account. That means you are preparing to blow the account. So I will recommend a maximum of two percent is okay per trade. Then the fourth mistake is selecting an unsuitable broker. As good as brokers are, we cannot deny the fact that there are bad brokers. Brokers who place uh, beginner traders in B book or brokers who constantly manipulate the uninformed traders. So you must ensure that the broker you are using is actually a suitable broker and your broker is a secured broker. Financial stability and proper regulation are essential before opening an account with a broker. That means the broker needs to be financially stable and they need to be properly regulated by the agency regulating the broker in that country. You need to know which country they belong to. You need to know how much of asset under management they have how much e total equity they, are, they have you need to understand these things before you go about opening an account with a broker okay then the next is not using a stop loss i truly wonder when i see young traders or beginner traders who are even trading the news without stop loss and i'm wondering what are you trying to do you are putting a trade and you don't have a stop loss guys do you really want to stay long in the industry or you just want to get cut off by the road okay you see a lot of traders trading without stop loss and they end up getting glued to the trade they are always on the screen because they are uncomfortable with the decision they have taken you executed a buy you're using one lot size on a hundred dollar account and you don't have a stop loss and you tell me you don't want to blow the account why won't you blow the account so guys i always recommend make sure you have a calculated risk for every trade you want to execute if you want to enter a trade you want to execute a buy or a sell trade know how much you are willing to lose and then determine how you are going to take that trade to suit your emotions using a comfortable lot size on that trade then the sixth mistake most traders make is opening many trades at a time guys it's dangerous for you to execute many trades at a time okay so you must avoid having multiple positions that you are uncomfortable with at the same time don't forget the saying jack of all trade is the master of none you must avoid opening multiple positions on multiple currency pairs at a time guys your concentration is going to be very very low you are going to be distracted because you are checking your trade on euro usd you are checking your trade on gbp usd you are checking your trade on usd chf you are checking your trade on nzd jpy what are you trying to do they are not even correlated guys avoid trading multiple pairs at a time okay traders who go about succeeding in the industry are traders who focus on at least one or two currency pairs and these are the only things they are trading why are you stressing yourself you as a beginner trader i, I encourage that you pick one currency pair and at max two currency pairs and focus on trading just these two in your first two to three years of trading and you are going to be amazed at the level of mastery you are going to gain just practicing this principle then the last mistake is trading on one single time frame this is totally dangerous trading on one time frame for example traders who trade on the one minute or two minutes time frame um, i'm not sure you are going to stay long in the industry because the higher time frames are the determining factor of where price is going to go so you must understand top-down analysis avoid trading on, on one single time frame no matter what it is 
avoid trading one single time frame get used to doing top-down analysis or multiple time frame analysis this is how you are going to stay long in the industry so guys i, I found something very interesting i would like you to you can you can pause the video and study uh, this very table it's a table of account size or equity and the recommended lot size you should be using for every trade you take so that you don't get to blow up your account especially as beginner traders if you are using a hundred dollar account or hundred to two hundred and ninety nine dollars the mid the maximum loss size you should be using is 0 0.01 on every trade that you take you are using 300 to 499 dollars the maximum lot size should be 0 0.02 you are using a thousand dollars to two thousand dollars 0 0.05 this way you are going to stay long in the industry without blowing up your account as a beginner trader in the subsequent videos i will start teaching price action trading or smart money concept or institutional trading concept whatever you call it i'm going to start teaching them in our next video okay because we are basically done with basic forex trading concepts the last few videos i posted on this channel were all about basic trading concepts for beginner traders but in the subsequent videos i'm going to start dishing out the real meat and you can't afford to miss out so guys if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to this channel like this channel and share this channel until next time i wish you good luck good trading